let me tell you a story. So what do traditional Japanese playing cards, a pivotal moment in gaming industry and an iconic plumber have in common? Well, the answer is Nintendo. So in the year 1889, Fusajiro Yamauchi founded Nintendo, a brand that would go on to become a household name. This was when they made the Hanafuda playing cards that were traditionally Japanese playing cards used in a variety of games. Later, in 1950 and 1960s, the brand began to diversify its product line. This historical saw the company dabbling in various businesses, including a taxi company, a love hotel chain, instant rise and a TV network. However, most of these ventures were not as successful in the long term. It was only in 1970 that Nintendo's significant pivot came into existence when they ventured into the electronic entertainment industry. In 1983, when Nintendo launched the family computer, or what they called Famicom, which was later rebranded as Nintendo Entertainment System, came into existence. It was during this era that franchises like Super Mario Bros., the Pokemon and The Legend of Zelda came into existence and became synonymous with Nintendo, revolutionizing the gaming industry forever. Speaking of which, did you know the interesting thing about the iconic franchise of Super Mario Bros, where Mario was originally named Jumpman and was a carpenter and not a plumber? This character of Mario's evolution and his world has become central to Nintendo's identity. But one of the most significant moments in the gaming history was its fallout with Sony. In the early 90s, Nintendo and Sony were collaborating on a CD-ROM add-on for the Super Nintendo. However, due to contractual disagreements, Nintendo unexpectedly partnered with Philips instead. This move left Sony to independently develop what would eventually become the PlayStation and a major rival in the gaming world to Nintendo today. Having said that, Today, Nintendo continues to innovate with new consoles and gaming technologies, including the Nintendo Switch, which has apparently sold over 92 million units globally. So from playing cards to shaping the gaming world, that's Nintendo's epic journey for you this week.